Hey guys, this is Alex with Patterns for Pirates. Welcome to the first day of our favorite tea and fave tea sew along. So for the first day, we're gonna go super easy, super slow, super easy. We're just going to go ahead and print the pattern and cut the size we need or sizes if we're grading. So um, I, I figured I might as well just do a little video to show you um, how to print your size for whoever hasn't used layers before or whoever needs a refresher or if you're new to patterns for pirates that's the first thing you do you open your um uh, patterns that you find in your downloads in a, on, the, on our website you open them with adobe reader make sure you use adobe reader you don't use any other um, um viewing or editing uh, programs so with adobe reader i open my files this is the um, favorite thing that i'm i'm making for myself and on the left side you'll find a bar with various tabs click on the layer tab and then click on the arrow to show all the sizes there all the sizes are selected right now i'm not going to print them all because i only need one size Sometimes I grade, uh, depending on how much I eat for, for my hips. Uh, uh, right now I don't need to, to grade for, uh, for the hips. So in sometimes I need to choose two sizes. This time I'm gonna choose just one. So to unselect the sizes you don't want to print, just click on the eye right here and click on it. So it's unselecting that particular size. So the all sizes and the guidelines are locked. You cannot unclick them. If by any chance you see them uh, clickable, don't click them anyways. So I'm keeping the one size that I need to print. You see, I have only one here. And I am I can see the pattern starts at page 25. Sometimes this information is already in the tutorial, but uh, it's easy to see that I, it starts on page 25. I don't want to print the whole tutorial because one, I know it by heart. And two, I like to print just my pattern pieces. I have no storage for the tutorials or, um, and I can read them on the computer. So saves me some ink, some paper and some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and select print and a pop-up comes here. It says to all, I'm just selecting the pages that I want, which is page 25 to the end. So I'm printing the whole pattern, um, pattern, all the pattern pieces, even though I'm not doing all of them, because I like to have them ready for when I do a, a different style. So it's uh, the size is custom to 100% or you can use actual size. It's the same. Auto portrait and landscape. Do not click on set, print on both sizes, obviously, because you're going to have to cut your your pattern pieces. And we're all set. So select your size, your layer, select the, num the pages you want to, and print. And that is it. We're going to go ahead and tape our pattern pieces together um, once they printed. Okay, now that we have our pattern printed, we're gonna go ahead and tape it together. Um, if um, you're lucky enough to have a plotter or you've sent your uh, pattern to be printed by a pattern company, we recommend Blue Prints. Uh, you can definitely skip this page because it will be already done for you. I'm not so lucky, so I'm going to start taping and I wanted to show you uh, how to tape our patterns. Again, if you've never used them before or you're new to, to layers and uh, no trim pages. So page uh, A1, page two, you can see we have a guideline here. Uh, um, just a mention that I'm printing letter. If you're uh, outside of the US, you're probably going to be printing A4. So this is the guidelines. I'm using glue sticks because I go through a lot of it and I find this is the most affordable way to take my, tape my patterns together. 
grab your other piece and aligning the, the um, bottom line together and the top line this is how you print yes you do have a very small space here that uh, like not even an eighth of an inch that doesn't have the dotted line and that's absolutely okay there's absolutely nothing wrong with the pattern you've taped it well together as long as you're lining up your paper with the the line the guideline on the previous paper everything is fine even if there's a little bit because if you look under it's there the line so you see it so this is uh, what you will be going to do with the rest of the papers so a2 a3 now a personal tip that i have for you to save on glue and time if i see here that there's nothing that needs to be connected on this side of the page i usually put glue just on the top just where i have pattern pieces this way it saves me glue and it saves me time so putting this together page a4 And we're gonna be moving on to B. So I see there's a pattern piece here and here. So I will be putting glue from top to bottom. All right, so the first row of pages is done. That's how it's going to do. I'm gonna do one more row and then I won't bore you with me uh, taping together my pattern. And um, the, the next thing you have to do, once you're uh, done gluing your uh, your pattern pieces, your pattern papers, you're gonna cut around the line for your size or sizes, making sure that if it's one size, it's uh, you just follow the line for your uh, particular size. If it's uh, your grading and you've printed uh, multiple sizes, Make sure that when you do cut, before you cut, you do your grading on the, the main paper. So this way you do your, make sure you take a look at our grading tutorial. I'm going to link it in the blog too. This way you have a, a quick uh, place to refer to if you need to grade between sizes for bust or waist or hip. It's super easy and that is the beauty of making your own clothes. You get to customize them to your size, your mold, and do it exactly the way you want it to be or need it to be. So I like to tape in rows, in case you haven't noticed. I have my first row, I have my second row, and now I'm coming with a big line of glue that I have to tape. Go ahead and match again matching the lines horizontally just like you did vertically all the lines will match and that's why I like to use the Elmer glue because it's a repositional for a little bit of time and it's very inexpensive plus since we're around the beginning of the school year glue sticks like this go on sale a lot like there were there was a box on amazon for 30 pieces for ten dollars or 9.99 or something like that i buy them by the big box because i go through them like super fast and they hold pretty well so i'm gonna go ahead and finish taping this and cutting my pattern piece when you cut your pattern piece if uh, make sure you select if you want um crew neck or a v-neck the v-neck is this line and the crew neck is this line or crew scoop because it's a, a pretty low cut if you want to make it a higher cut we have a blog for that and i'll also link that one in uh, in the blog post for the day if you need to make your uh, uh, neckline higher or lower lower 
I don't think you could do it much lower than this, but you can definitely make it higher if you want to. So make sure you select your uh, uh, style that you'll be doing if you're doing a hem shirt, a banded shirt, a dress like I'll be making and cut around those specific lines. So I will be seeing you guys here for tomorrow when we'll be cutting the fabric and talking about uh, a little bit about your fabric choices for uh, for the favorite tea and the fave tea. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.